Hello everyone, welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monsters Coliseum Libra Mod Thunder playthrough. Right, last time we defeated Pegasus, we started uh, the final uh, few fights of the game. The well, and the match went relatively well. We lost a couple of units, but at the end of the day, you know, Exodia kind of obliterated him. Today we're facing Ishizu, who has the Thunder symbol in this version. Because she always matches your symbol, I think. I'm actually not 100% sure about that. No, I think she does. I think so. Yeah, she does. I do like the fact that they change uh, symbols depending on what your symbol is. Makes uh, a bit more variety. Ishizu. I didn't think I would ever see you again. Actually, with you, there's never such a thing as luck. You knew we would meet again. Yes, the sands of time told me of this reunion. Ah, yes, the sand told you. <laughs> I don't need the ability to tell the future to know that this duel will be even more difficult than the one before. That's not saying much, though. <laughs> It's time to begin, Yugi. She, she's in a first match is fucking terrible. So, to be fair, I think in the vanilla this might be the hardest match in the game. I remember as a child, as a young child, I could never beat her. She was the one that uh, locked me. She was the one that I just couldn't beat as a child. Yeah. Well, it's actually pretty impressive I made it that far with just the strategy of rush everyone forward. Oh, I do. I, I do miss the times of. Oh damn, she's just using thunder, basically, with one dark monster. I know she can have a black luster soldier, and uh, at least in the dark version, she can. So it'd be cool if she'd had it here as well. She's got royal guard, royal guard, dark magician girl, thunder dragon, giga tech wolf. That's new. Dice armadillo. Gig Attack Wolf. Ooh, Machine King. That's also a new one. Alright, well, who are we going to bring? Well, we're going to bring Exodia. And, like, you come in out of your tech. Um, Cyber Soldier will bring you. Yeah, I mean, Dark Magician, uh, I feel bad. <laughs> we just fucked it up. We just really fucked that up. Uh, yeah, Neil Wall. He was good. You got, uh, plenty of more picks, so. Uh, 103. You could pick, like, Sinister Serpent for whatever reason. That's not pick Sinister Serpent. Never mind. Yeah, I guess just gonna come back to those two. Just a ton of fucking attack. Dice Armadillo or Royal Guard. We could bring Steel Oak or Grotto too, sure. Yeah, that's our team, I guess. Let's place Exodia and and Kaminari attack next to each other because they have the same type of movement. Um, let's not place you there. We can hard place you here. Push you over here, and the ball up in the front, I guess. It's time. It's time.
you know, last map uh, we had to fight four different uh, new monsters that normally would, um, well, not, it, well, they would crash the game if I'd uh, use them, right? And, well, last time it didn't go wrong at all, so... I feel more confident about using the crash monsters, but I'm still a little nervous about it. You cannot change your destiny. Right. Kick attack will doesn't have the cool little icon. Little capsule thingy. Kind of a shame if he doesn't have Black Lost for Soldier, but I guess that's only in the dark version. Here I go. Here I go. How much does he cost? Three hundred and thirty-one. That's such a random number. This is an ambient stage, not gonna lie. Oh, I want that Thunder Dragon. Damn, that thing looks badass! I regret getting Dice Armadillo now. Like, I mean, I knew I wasn't to use all of them, but still. Yeah, they are pretty fucking strong, and well, it's not a dark symbol, so they don't have as much defense. Kick attack wolf, yeah, it's insane, of course. I mean, yeah, you're pretty good as well. Three by two, also really good. Damn, that's good. See, yeah, surprise, surprise, everyone's really good. Who would have thought? Let's move you over here, I suppose. Hmm. All of his guys have a ton of movement that is quite problematic. Like this combination is just rough. At least let's look. Um one, two, three. Like where I'm standing they actually can't move over to me. However, you can go one, two, three and not attack yet. And you can go one, two, three and attack me. How wonderful. How fucking wonderful. So yeah. He can go all the way up here. Yeah. We're gonna genuinely have to back up all the way. Because he can go over here and, like, if I move him, then that just guy's just gonna move up here and kill a uh, needle ball. Yeah, I am going to have to completely back up everyone. How wonderful! So wait, yeah, he, where can he go? One, two, three, he can go over here, one, two.
Yeah, it's very troublesome, honestly. Luckily enough, they decided to move over here. So we need to place someone over there, but why wouldn't you know it? This guy can obviously move one, two, three, and bam, bam, hit it. At least, unlike last time, you're not as much as a threat. But you going over here means he can hit this, so we should just simply not attack on those spots specifically. Oh, it's looking like a horrendous match. Like, genuinely horrendous. Yeah, fuck that. I'm not gonna just throw away one of my units. I'm just gonna stay here. You're gonna have to do it. Why should I throw my monsters in your attack range? I don't feel very good about this. Yeah, now this guy can go one, two, three, four. Or this guy can go one, two, three, four and hit me over here. So this spot is not safe anymore. These two spots aren't safe anymore. And he can go one, two, three, four or three and bam, hit me over here. So we've been uh, successfully driven into the corner. I genuinely don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to really do about it. Yeah, they can go over here and here. Um, I mean, we could move you over here as a sacrifice play. Um, let's just see how much you do. You don't have one shot. Well, you can go one, two, and... Yeah. You can go one, two, three, and hit Exodia from there. So, Exodia, move on back. Well, it seems like he's finally let up a bit. That's at least a minus a one. Man, this fight's tricky, god damn.
I don't know how long that. I don't know how long that took to get the first monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You try to disregard anything I do. Um, yeah. It's fucked. It's fucked. I think he can kill my symbol. Like, what? One? Like, you can go one, two, three, four. But he can go here and attack my symbol. And, yeah, one, two, three. And kadang, kadang, it's dead. Doesn't matter if I do that. If I move you one over here though, um, go one, two, three, four, and then attack me that way. I'll try the fact that you can just go over here and crush anything that comes up here as well. I think we just lost. He's just gonna destroy the symbol no matter what. What the f- There was literally nothing I think I could have done about this. Uh, I, I, I'm, 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 a, I'm kind of upset, not gonna lie. I'm pretty fucking upset, because I think he's won. Huh. You are finished, Yugi. What was I supposed to do there, honestly? Alas, in the end, fate cannot be altered, Yugi. I refuse to believe that. I will never give up challenging destiny. Challenging destiny? If you truly believe that, we will meet again, Yugi. Wow. Well, that was difficult. Hmm. Well, see you guys next episode when I hopefully beat her. If I even fucking finish this off.